Take it on TCU defense. It's far below the standard of what Gary Patterson has established in his 21 years in Fort Worth. And right away, they give a big running play. Brooks is off and running. And they finally wrestle him down inside the 35. Pick it up free left off in Dallas. A lot of options on first and goal. It's Jeremiah Hall shifting around along with Stogner to the right side. Brooks up the middle. That was easy. Oklahoma right down the field in the first drive. This Kayla Williams as a starter. Williams has great protection, delivers wide open across the middle. Trayvon West is still running. West barreling down, moving back five yards. Doesn't matter. Another big chunk play. Not nearly as many of those tackles behind the line as we're used to seeing from TUC. One of the worst in the country in that department. Play action. Williams across the middle. End zone. Touchdown. Jeremiah Hall. Two possessions, two scores for Williams on the offense. Rubina Eze, then left tackle, is across from him. And Duggan trying to scramble for it. Can he get there? Makes oh. a cut, breaks a tackle, and Duggan, who is playing on that injured foot, first down out near the 40. Hey. Duggan looking to throw to screen underneath. Miller has blockers, and Kendrick Miller's got great speed. Tied roping down the sideline all the way home. Touchdown, TCU! Wow! What an answer. And you see, he may be a backup on the depth chart, but Miller is super talented. Block 88. You love to see receivers that get involved, but he's got a convoy. Does a good job getting behind him. There's 88 right there. Picks up a good block. Now he gets to the corner. And Chris, there's the speed you talked about. See if he stays in bounds. So far, so good. All the way into the end zone for the touchdown. But it really and it sets yourself up like we just showed. It sets you up against play action. There is play action. Williams, another downfield throw. Mims is wide open. It's underthrown. He comes back to make the catch at the 30-yard line. He beat T.J. Carter in coverage. Well, right behind him. So you're worried about the quarterback and the and the running back. Williams pressured and he is sacked. They didn't get him last week, but TCU's Oshan Mathis is their top pass rusher. Gets home that time. Amari DiMercato is spelling Miller for the moment, and they fake it to him and pitch it out in the flat. Johnson's got space. Stiff arm, the long strider, moving deep into Oklahoma territory. Nine for nine, four receivers to the left of the formation. Williams instead looks over to the right and finds a man and Woods off and running makes a cut foot race Woods dives and knocked down just short of the goal line third and goal Ran out of time chase down and will be sacked for the second time tonight both times by O'Shawn Mathis and 46 yarder was off the upright a little while ago. This one is through. I talked to Mathis. I said, do you like what you see from yourself on tape? Because he hadn't been that productive. He said, I do. It looked like they it happened about the 13. They didn't give a full 10 yard back from the spot of the foul. They, they spotted at the 20. Duggan looking to throw to the end zone on first down. Leaping grab by Quentin Johnson. There's a flag in the end zone there. But that was a terrific pitch and catch. The 6-4. Sophomore from Temple went up and got it. Blowout City, they're back in it. Chris, that's your best receiver against a true freshman nickelback who's talented, but that's not where he wants to be. Billy Bowman, he's in no man's land. Now a minute 43 for Williams to work with here, and they have the two timeouts. Steps up, late pressure, delivers across the middle, and the catch is made by Gray out of the backfield into TCU territory. Outside of the coach's box, he's making sure everybody's got their assignment. Second and six, Williams back shoulder, fade, cut, touchdown. Jaden Hazelwood, that was beautifully executed as OU stretches the lead before the break. Thrown on a line. It's not eased in there. It's thrown on a rope. He leads Mims out there. Brooks, big hole, Kennedy Brooks. 
barreling down the sidelines and is just tripped up inside the 20. Nook Bradford saved the touchdown, but a monster game. Farouk in motion. Williams to the end zone. Touchdown. Hazelwood, who's been busy tonight. And OU stretches the lead. Just steps and throws. A As we told you, he's playing with that taped up ankle. Duggan on second and five. Launches downfield in the traffic. And the catch is made by Johnson. Can he house it? Stiff arm touchdown, TCU. Take that. A quick strike indeed. They are hanging around tonight. Freshman out there all by himself. He's a nickelback with a lot of physical attributes, but being able to run vertical is not necessarily his forte. And it is Quentin Johnston. 6'4, 210, about five pounds. He goes up and times that up perfectly. Uses the right leg. What a great look at it there. That ball went through his arms. Five on the play clock. First and goal. Keeper Williams rolling. Throws end zone. Touchdown. Hazelwood again. It's the fourth touchdown pass for Williams. Hazelwood has got three of them. Run threat. And obviously, you, you got to have some that are worried about that. Not let him get outside. Some got to stay. He had a couple receivers that were open there in the back of the end zone. Yeah, he comes through. He's, he's kind of a quiet guy, but I enjoyed talking to him yesterday. And he, I'm just glad that he's able to go tonight. Down the middle, drops a dime, and the catch made by Barber. And they're right back threatening again. A 21 yarder to make it a 14 point game. TCU drove it. This was plan A. You start Williams, he plays well, you have no problem. There's a play fake, keeps it, shows the running skills. The first time tonight, he's really flashed the legs, slides down near midfield. I love to see that. Saw his dad Bob a little earlier, just jetting back into town in time for the game. Oh boy, Williams makes a man whiff and goes sprinting to the end zone. Touchdown, Williams, he's doing it all tonight in his starting debut. Are you kidding? inside man Patrick Jenkins right here and it's real simple what what does he do he's going to take the ball carry so 91 takes Kennedy Brooks he comes off of that makes the guy miss he's dangerous when you come in from the outside and then it's downfield blocking look at the blocks anytime a back or a quarterback makes a run like this you have to have an assist Trevon West does a good job other receivers downfield takes it all the way into the house again this is different wrinkles different kind of offense it's much more more reminiscent of what you would see from a Jalen Hurts Oklahoma offense or even going back to Baker Mayfield at times or Kyler Murray they've not been running that the last year and a half with Spencer Rattler and then they get up to college and the reality check but this has been a continuation of the superhero stuff Davis lost the football suitors have it it's picked up Deshaun White with a convoy throws the ball at the end zone. Did he fumble it before he landed out of bounds? He was trying to reach for the pylon after scooping it up. The Blackhawks. Oh, you got them both. You got both teams. covered. I got it. childhood team and then like adulthood team. Uh oh. Uh oh. Miller breaks free. Still running hard here. Excuse me. That's a. Uh, Mari DeMarc De Mercado, not uh, 33, but three. Every time you don't play and sit behind a freshman, Kirk, you, you got to believe his stock is going to drop. Dug into the end zone, leaping play, stolen for a touchdown. Quentin Johnson just went right up over a man and took it away. This time it's Joshua Eaton, who's got great size at 6'2". See him read the eyes of Johnston? He actually had pretty good technique. He read the eyes of Johnston and told him there is a buzz in this stadium, in this city, in this state now about this Sooner team with him there. He did not throw away his shot. And Eric Gray barges in the end zone, and the folks here who really know this team are appreciative. That's not because it's a three touchdown game, it's because Eric Gray has finally found the end zone. It's nice to see Gray get a chance to punch one in and get his touchdown. A lot of teams, you know, when you're trying to protect the lead, can't do what they just did. They just ran it all nine plays of that drop. The rest of the conference has 13 combined. They've dominated, but this year the reality is it's going to be a lot of close games, a lot of really competitive games, one in the fourth quarter by just a play or two. Kayla Williams tonight, 18 to 23. 
295, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Had some big runs at a touchdown run. And netted 66 yards on the ground in his first start since a junior in high school in 2019. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.